Welcome to Vitec Corporation's Introduction to Versioning screencast. This feature is a new addition that was released in Core 6. Versioning will allow users to manage and report changes in the system's design repository. This feature is significant for some users and you may want to address it as part of your project management plan. In this screencast, we will introduce you to the versioning browser and teach you how to roll back to a previous version. We will address tracking and reporting changes and baseline creation in a separate screencast. Let's examine how these new capabilities appear in Core. First, we need to know how to enable versioning and what the default settings are. When creating a new project in Core 6, versioning is enabled by default. To disable versioning, click on the drop-down box, then choose False. Then click OK to create your project. After a project has been created, you can enable or disable versioning using the administrative tools. Click on Tools, Administrative Tools. Then in the Administrative Tools window, click on your project. Right-click on the project and choose Enable or Disable Versioning. Then click Yes. Alternately, after clicking your project, you can click Project at the top of the screen then choose to enable or disable versioning. Notice in the lower right portion of the screen, the current setting is shown in the enable versioning field. There are other circumstances for default settings. When you import projects from previous versions of Core, versioning will be disabled by default. When importing into an existing Core 6 project, versioning will default to the settings of that project. If you aren't sure, Remember that you can always go to the administrative tools to view and change the current settings. A version browser has been added that will allow you to see the history of your changes on the attribute level. When you open the Project Explorer and select a class, you'll notice that some of the attribute values are preceded by an icon. These are the individual attributes that have versioning enabled. Versioning is not enabled on all classes and attributes by default. The classes that are enabled by default are Component, Function, Interface, Item, Link, Requirement, and Verification Requirement. If you are interested in learning how to enable versioning on other classes or attributes, be sure to view our advanced versioning tutorial. The first time you enter information into a field, you are creating the baseline version. Subsequent changes to that field will create new versions, and the versioning icon will change, letting you know that you have multiple versions available. When you click on the icon, it will take you to the versioning browser. Clicking on the version will populate the fields below. The version at the bottom of the list is the baseline value. The version at the top of the list is the current value. Notice that the versioning browser identifies the user who made the entry and when. By selecting different versions on each side of the dialog, comparisons can be made. You can restore a value by clicking on the one you want to restore and clicking the Restore button at the bottom of the versioning browser. When you restore a version, the date remains the date it was entered, not the date of restoration. When you are done in the versioning browser, be sure to close the window or you will not be able to use the Project Explorer. This concludes our Introduction to Versioning screencast. The next screencast in the versioning series covers baseline concepts and creating or changing your project baseline.